that time Christmas time is here Everybody knows there's not a better time of year Hear that sleigh Hey there, YTPC. It's your boy Cosmo Cat Dad Piper. Hope you're doing well. Coming to you from an early Friday evening within the confines of the house. Doing something a little different today. We're going to be taking a look at a uh, butane ladder that I picked up for $16 off Amazon. I ordered it back on October 13th. So I have had it and been using it for a month now. So I felt like I had a good enough idea of how it is, how it works, uh, to give you my impressions and thoughts on it. <clears throat> First of all, it is an Ergret or Ergretti lighter. Comes in a nice little, I think they call it a gift box probably. It's got a, a nice little foam insert. I like to keep it in there because it keeps it nice and clean. And uh, if you want to store a check tool, it just slides right in there. It comes with some great instructions, especially for filling for the first time and how to setting it up. Pretty basic, but some little tips that I found helpful. If you register within seven days, which I didn't do, you would have a one-year warranty on it. But at $16, if it dies within a year, you're not out a whole lot. Uh, looked at a lot of lighters on Amazon. This one got good reviews. I enjoyed the build of it. It's got a faux brown leather. Uh, it's got a, a click ignition, which is the main thing I was looking for. My other butane lighter, which is a imitation old boy for $20, uh, would have issues with the, uh, with the ignition, with the flint ignition and the wheel. Uh, some other features it does have here, three tools. You got a little scraper, which barely has a sharp edge there. You can kind of see that. Uh, but it does scrape the inside of the bowl just to get some gunk out. It's got your picker. And then it's got your tamper. Because I always have my check tools, I don't really use these. I've tried them out. Uh, I think the scraper's nice to have. Pick tool, sure. Uh, the tamper, it works, but you do have to like hold it like that to keep it from falling in. And I don't like how small the end is for tamping. Uh, do a little comparison. Got a standard check tool here. So there's that. And there's the uh, check tool. So you can kind of see the size comparison there. So considerably smaller than the standard check tool. But that's not why I bought it. Uh, I would say the fuel is somewhat easy to light. Kind of standard issues with butane. If you're not familiar, there's going to be a little... You can see a little hole in there. And you have a little straw type tip on your butane fuel. And butane is a gas fuel. So it's almost like filling the air in your tire. you got to press that down around that hole. Um, but it's got to be tight enough that it presses down. So it's the exact fit. A lot of times you'll get overspray because it's hard to get it to line up just right. But I've not had... Uh, I've had that issue with any other butane. So I don't think that changes. Though I've never owned a uh, butane lighter above $40. And that was like a triple torch one years ago when I did scars. Um, so I think that issue is going to be across the board with butane. This one seems to fit pretty well compared to my other one. Um, like I said, if you don't have it lined up perfectly, you will get some of that cold gas, like overflow spray hit your hand. Not a big deal. Uh, a little disclaimer before I light this up. I uh, just filled this a couple days ago, so it's pretty well filled. I feel like the uh, fuel capacity is decent. I feel like it lasts probably average to slightly above average. Say it lasts longer than a Zippo. Lasts about the same, maybe a little bit longer than my last butane lighter. Um, when you do 
get low on butane fluid, you'll know because it'll take more clicks to get it to light or to stay lit. But we're going to show quick first how it goes. I don't know. I don't know where it is. It is adjustable. I don't know where I am on the adjustable. Um, it came in a length that I liked, so I didn't play around with it. Partially because I didn't have a little tool or screwdriver to get in there and do it. Because it is, it's that spot around the uh, hole there that you would fill. See how there's grooves? And there's like a plus and minus symbol there. There you go. So you go one way for more, other way for less. Got my uh, 2021 7 LE673 packed with some GLP's Odyssey, which I smoked for the first time the other day after I got that from my buddy Sam. But we'll give it a light, show you how it works. One thing I would have noticed, if you get too close to the bowl, too close to the tobacco, the flame will go out fast. I think that's just because you're kind of cutting off the oxygen flow. But it lights really well. lights easily. I have found that... Uh, you get a nice even burn. And usually when I was smoking a pipe with this, I maybe have one or two relights. At least after you get a good initial light going. Like I said, I've never had a higher end butane lighter that's 50, 60, $100 more. But I feel that for the price, 16 bucks. It's a great lighter. Makes it real easy to get a nice even light over the bowl. Last thing I'll mention, it has a good weight to it. Feels feels a sturdy. It's I feel like it's high quality as far as it doesn't feel like a cheap Chinese imitation thing, which there's a ton of them on Amazon, but I found that you can find those really easy. A lot of them, you can see the same lighter in three or four different names, all that look like they're in some foreign language, and the description text is really poor English. This seems to have pretty standard English in their rules and guides and info on it, and they carry more than one a lighter on Amazon. And again, that was your grit or your gritty. And I like butane because I do taste the uh, liquid fuel for a Zippo. I like a Zippo. Definitely works a little better in the wind. Butane, if you got a moderate to high breeze, you might have some issues with this. Uh, just something to keep in mind. But that's butane. That's not the lighter specifically. So take that for what you will. But... I think this is a great lighter. I think it's sleek, stylish, good build, very reliable. 16 bucks, can't beat it. And fuel lasts a long time. I've been using the same butane refill tank for several months. Whenever I got the, uh, the well, I think I've maybe on my second one since I got that first butane lighter, but. That fuel lasts forever, and it's like, what, three to five bucks probably? Like I said, if you're looking for a butane lighter, you know, this works great. The only thing that works the same, or maybe slightly better, I would say the same, would be if you had good wood matches. But I've got burnt by those. I almost set my phone on fire because the match broke in half as I was lighting it and flew away. This is a deal. Highly recommend it. Um, that's all I have. Hope you have a great day, evening, or whenever you find this. 
Uh, stay tuned. I got some new tobaccos if you caught my last videos. Uh, in the next couple weeks, I'll probably be doing a review of the Odyssey and uh, Sam Gall with uh, their Fire Dancer, which is a Blackberry Brandy Vanilla Tobacco. Uh, earlier, and you can watch this in my uh, tobacco tastings playlist on the channel. Um, I tried a uh, New Minster Blackberry Brandy. Don't have any more of that, but I'll be able to do a comparison on that because I smoked through, I think, four ounces of that stuff. So, give you a little picture of the comparison there. Uh, anyways, I've been rambling on long enough. We're at a 10 minute video for a lighter review. But have a great day. As always, thanks for watching. God bless. And we'll see you soon.